NCAA finalist Quincy Monday coming to the mat. Former number one at 157, but he is now up at 165, the deepest weight class in the country. But he's embracing that challenge. Absolutely. And, and it's funny you talk about Pat Glory. He was going to go, go 25, he's going to go 33, and he's going to go 25, and he's 33. I think same thing with Monday. He was, but wait, okay, he's going 65. Actually, Ooh. he's going 57. Check that. No, he's going 65, and, and, and I believe this will be where he lands throughout the rest of the season. He goes body lock right now. Well, he had a momentarily good wizard fighting off there from Olgan. Sometimes when, oh, look at this, Monday going to the head. They're clear. Sometimes when guys move up in weight, you, see, you hear them say, like, I don't want to cut, or I, you know, I feel better at the weight. Quincy said, I cannot wrestle like myself when I'm cutting weight, and I need to wrestle like myself, and he's in on a shot right now. Yeah, hands locked a little bit extended, trying to get those hips closer to the body. And second effort, no, third effort, trying to close the gap in here. He's kind of getting his body in there. Nice job popping the hips, goes in the opposite direction, catches the ankle, steps over one step closer. He's got to pop that knee off. He's got to clear that foot one way or another. Potentially get to the danger zone, but I don't think so. The near fall danger zone, and we're, we're, we're wrapped up here in a stalemate. Man, Princeton coach is not happy about that uh, stalemate. I, I, like I, it. I see where they're coming from. I, a little bit more time. I would have liked to see that extended. Felt like it was coming, but. You see Monday when he's at his best, his footwork hard to deal with. And he got to the ankle, but Monday clears, gets to the leg of his own. They both clear, and we're scoreless halfway through the first. Monday's first big test up at 165 this year was David Carr, super close match. His next big test came at Midlands. He got a huge win over Wisconsin's DJ Hamidi, proving he's every bit ready to contend. 165. That match with David Carr took place right here in this building on the same guys. map back in November. The NWCA All-Star Classic. Olguin with some big wins of his own. He beat Anthony Valencia in the Pac-12 Finals last year. Would have secured the team <laughs> victory That's for Oregon say. State, but he spiked his headgear. He was so excited and they took the team point away. They ended oh. up losing, but <laughs> crazy. Oh, another rule. I think the dumb rule, but that's yeah. that's just me. Like, okay. whatever. Yeah, I agree. No score here. Twenty-five to go. From space, gets to the leg, closer to the body this time. He's in. Looking to score Monday, trying to clear that right arm across the hips, across the waist. That's how Olguin tried to defend before. 10 seconds left. Can Monday swim to that leg? Olguin doing a nice job. Monday, don't know if he's going to be able to. Olguin hangs on by the skin of his teeth. Princeton. And it's 0-0 zero, zero after the bottom. first. We haven't had many 0-0 zero, zero first periods. No. Have we had any? You know, even no points in that one, we still had some... Some good action, without a doubt. Olguin coming off a win over, oh, looking for a return. He's coming off a win over All-American White. She's, he returns Monday. Monday looking for a switch. Gets to the leg. And that's going to be an escape. Monday up to his feet. First point on the board. We're in this position for a long time. Olguin trying to control that wrist. and <laughs> Karate chopped the arm off. Did, did I see that correctly? <laughs> Next one's a point. Okay. Did he karate chop the Both guys. Break the hands, walk away. Every time. You can see Olguin strategy going to the wrist. Maybe trying to slow down that movement from Monday and, and Monday kind of shooting from the outside there it maybe didn't seem like a whole lot of a setup and again he's kind of not a super great grip on the leg I don't even know if he has it locked anymore regrips his hands I believe but all getting stretched out and we're looking at a stalemateable position 
This is one of those matches where if you're counting leg attacks, you're counting times you've been locked on a leg, Monday up big, but hadn't been able to convert it to points. Yeah, and he's got both ankles over the top to Zolgi. Now he loses them, and Monday in a position to prove here and get a takedown. Would be the first takedown of the bow. Olgi trying to hang on. He's around the waist. Nothing here. Very similar position. He has that bottom leg hooked. A lot of times you have that bottom leg hooked. You're, you're most of the way now. Now he finally pops that leg and he's in position. I think that's... Looks very close. There it, there is. it is. Two takedown. Quincy Monday goes up 3 nothing now with 20 seconds to go in the second frame. Now Monday on top, and looks like he is very much in control. 10 seconds left in the period. He's got Olgin broken down, tight waist and a wrist, and they're going to go to the third period with Monday leading 3-0. Is that a leg sleeve and a knee pad? No, that's just a leg sleeve knee pad for Monday. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. I think so. What do you want? Down. Knee pad and leg sleeve. Third. But it, yeah, yeah. It's all part of the same thing. It's one piece of equipment. I, what do you use? It's one piece of equipment. Wardrobe. Olgin to his feet. Fighting hands. Olgin's out. It's 3-1. Riding time not a factor. Monday getting his feet. Shuffling, moving a little bit. The escape from Olgin makes it 3-1. So riding time not a factor. Takedown would tie it, but... That's for Olgi, that is. A takedown from Monday is going to not put it out of reach necessarily, but it's going to give him a very comfortable lead. Monday readjusting on that head inside single. Olgi trying to stuff him here a little bit, doing a nice job with his hips. Traps the head underneath, and Monday once again kind of stretched out. Not in a great position underneath. Not in a really position to get scored on, but exactly. We're going to see a stalemate. stalemate there, and man. Monday just living on Olgin's legs. Olgin proven that he is one of those guys that uh, he is the master of almost getting taken down but avoiding it. That's what, if they were calling hands to the face, that would have been an easy one. But thank goodness they're not because we're still wrestling and that didn't really affect anything. A lot of sweat on the mat there. I see it flying out here in the lights. Yeah, Both really guys, is. I think. This match has, has been all Monday, but Olgin's still within a takedown. It's this to OT. 30 seconds to go. We haven't seen a committed attack from Olgin. He's been on the defense. Well, this would be about the time to go. Oh, he, he, yeah. Olgin trying to pick up the hand fight. Can he get to a leg? And I think he wants to get the attacks off. He just can't get to the position because Quincy's so oh, tough. And yeah. he's going to get a takedown. Two seconds oh to go. Oh, my goodness. Get out of here. Get out of here. Olgin won in overtime against Wyatt Sheets. Can he do it again? Holy smokes. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh my. You were just saying he couldn't get to the attacks. Then all of a sudden, we're going to see it. Goes to the trip. Big attack and gets the two. One second on the clock. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. And they're clearing the riding time. Making I think sure they, they got the clock figured out and they're going to go. Oh, I thought they were going to let the one second tick. I guess the one second ticked off already. It is overtime. All right, I thought they had another second to go. Riding time says 10 seconds. I'm sure they'll sort out. There we go. It's back to zero. Here we go. Monday shoots. And Olgin just hanging around, puts himself into this match. Now Monday in position to score here. Olgin over the top, catches the ankle. Monday looking to run for it. Olgin brings it up to a... Olgin just continuing to hang around and give himself Matt the potential Olgin. to score. And, and Monday now in position. You got to think he's going to convert this. Needs to get his hips on top. And there it is, Quincy Monday. Gives up a late takedown to send it in an overtime, but kept his poise. Got to the leg and finished cleanly. We saw Monday in on a single all match long, but he was able to convert that to a double. Got the knees together in the takedown. Representing Princeton. That Olgin, Quincy huge moment, but Quincy Monday, Monday gets the win. 
Pat Glory on the Princeton bench. Giving Monday a huge shout out. And here is the 